Howdy hey, how is everybody doing and welcome back to Disney Daily. In the 1993 film The Nightmare Before Christmas, we get a glimpse into the wonderful but spooky Halloween town. A place where all creatures who go bump in the night call home. Creatures like witches, vampires, skeletons, and monsters. It is pretty easy to identify who lives there and how or why they came to be a part of Halloween town. However, there are three characters who I have always wondered more about because they didn't really look like any of the other traditional Halloween creatures. Can you guess who I might be referring to? If you said the mischievous trio, Lock, Shock, and Barrel, you would be right. We first meet these wild children when Jack calls upon them to help find Santa Claus so that they can have a proper Christmas. While we do get to see them here and there throughout the film, we don't get much of a backstory on them. So in today's video, I try to discover the stories behind Lock, Shock, and Barrel. Now, when I started my search to learn more about their backstory, I first turned to the internet, of course. And the only thing I found that could maybe constitute as a backstory comes from a very unlikely source, a Game Boy game. This particular game was released in 2005 and it was called The Nightmare Before Christmas, The Pumpkin King. The game takes place exactly a year before the events in the movie The Nightmare Before Christmas. Now, according to the game, Oogie Boogie is extremely upset because everyone has forgotten about the holiday he invented called New Bug Day. Oogie naturally blames the new king of Halloween Town, Jack, for this and sends his henchmen, Lock, Shock, and Barrel, to capture Jack. The game features the trio very frequently Frequently, but they are always causing problems for Jack and are essentially just pawns in Oogie Boogie's giant scheme. Now, although this was extremely fun to learn about, it didn't give me quite the backstory on the trio that I wanted. I personally wanted to know more about how they even came to Halloween Town in the first place. So I continued to do my research on the internet and I came across a theory that several different fans proposed. So I don't know who the original genius is behind this theory, but if you happen to know, please leave the name down in the comments. Now this fan theory proposes that our favorite trio is in fact deceased and their names actually explain how each of them passed before they came to live in Halloween Town. According to the theory, Locke, who is dressed like the devil and is quote unquote the leader of the squad, was locked outside in the middle of winter in the freezing cold. Which is why if you look very closely you will see that his lips are a bright blue and his skin is pale white. The name Locke obviously referring to him being locked outside, whether intentionally or on accident. Next there is Shock, who is the most intelligent of the group. Shock is the one who is dressed as a witch. According to this same theory, Shock was, as you may have guessed already, electrocuted. Fans have pointed out that the biggest indicator is her hair, which definitely looks like she has been zapped by something. The name Shock obviously referring to her encounter with electricity. Now last but certainly not least there is Beryl, the short and bulky one who is dressed in a skeleton outfit. Many fans have suggested that Beryl actually passed in an actual barrel. Some say that he was trapped in a barrel tossed off a ship. Others have suggested that the barrel was full of acid. And there are other fans who give a more simple explanation which is that he suffocated in a tightly sealed barrel. No matter which way you look at it this is how he received the name Barrel. Now, as you may or may not recall, in the movie, the mayor does refer to them as Oogie's Boys. Now, I think it's possible that the three of them came to live in Halloween Town after they passed and were drawn to Oogie Boogie because he misbehaved just like them. In all honesty, I find this whole theory extremely interesting and I think it is certainly possible. But I wanted to explore a little bit further and see if I could come up with another theory. So I looked at other things that might have been mentioned in the movie. And in the same scene where the mayor calls them Oogie's boys, Jack refers to them as, quote, Halloween Town's finest trick-or-treaters. This got me thinking, what if the trio passed while they were trick-or-treating and have now become the ultimate trick-or-treaters now in death? Perhaps the three friends were the most determined trick-or-treaters and went out on Halloween night despite an insane storm and unfortunately got caught up in it. So after they passed, they came to Halloween Town and were made honorary trick-or-treaters given their complete and utter devotion to it. Now, I'm sure I'm not the only person to think of this, but I thought there could be some validity to this. To me, this also explains why they are wearing costumes and why they look like they are no longer living. Obviously, the biggest indicator being their skin and lip coloration. The only part to my theory that is missing is their tie to Oogie Boogie, which I could easily explain, but for time's sake, I'm going to move on to the next theory that was proposed. The next theory I'm going to go over is also one that has floated around on the internet, so I am not exactly sure who is responsible for it. But this one suggests that Oogie Boogie kidnapped 
trapped, lock, shock, and barrel. But in order to understand this better, we have to explore Oogie's origins a little bit more. Now, as you may or may not know, Oogie Boogie is the boogeyman. But what exactly does a boogeyman do? Well, according to legend, the boogeyman's duty was to scare children who misbehaved. The majority of them were simply there to just frighten kids. But others were more evil and did not just simply frighten kids, but they would steal them as well. This theory really ties in the boogeyman's origins and the belief is that Oogie Boogie stole the trio while they were out misbehaving on Halloween night, which explains why they were in costume and also why their allegiance lies with Oogie Boogie. Well, that concludes this theory video on Lock, Shock, and Barrel's backstory. Let me know what you all think down in the comments. I am so sorry I was not able to give you all a definitive answer, but hopefully you like one of these theories enough to adopt them as your truth. And if you have a theory that you like even better, please share them down in the comments. I would really like to read them. As always, thanks for being my guest here at Disney Daily. Until next time.